Hello Internet, welcome to another antenna tutorial. This is the second part of parabolic reflector antennas. And in this tutorial we are going to study about the feed systems for a parabolic reflector antenna. Now please understand the parabolic reflector focal point is the point where all reflected waves are concentrated. So what we do is we place our active element at the focal point and another key point here is the actual dish or the parabolic reflector is just a passive element it is not the source of radiation it is going to receive the radiation from the feed system and it is going to convert those radiations in the form of spherical wave fronts into planar wave fronts or in other words or in simpler words it is going to convert all the waves which are omnidirectional in nature into a super directive parallel wave front so <clears throat> the working of parabolic reflector antenna is already covered in the first part of the tutorial in this uh, tutorial we are going to study the types of parabolic reflector feed systems before we do that this has already been covered that uh, the focus or the focal point is calculated using the formula d square upon 16 c where d is the parabolic diameter and C is uh, the distance of uh, the dish antenna dish antenna center from the face of the parabola so <clears throat> before we study the four types of feed systems there are a few key points that are worth remembering those are the first one being that the feed element has major impact on performance. Uh, the point or the or the place where we place our antenna is super important. If we place the antenna at a point other than the focal point, then we would not be getting an optimized directivity an optimized gain so the feed element has major impact on performance secondly the feed element is the one which interface with it interfaces with the transmission line and the free space uh, because the feed, ele feed element is the active element in in this antenna system so it is going to be responsible for receiving the signal from the transmission line and sending it into the air and the reflector surface itself is entirely passive so it is a parasitic element it is going to only manipulate the radiations which are radiated by the feed system which is going to be placed on the focal point in all the types of feed systems now to name the feed systems they are uh, the focal feed system or it is known as axial or front feed the Cassegrain feed system the Gregorian parabolic reflector feed and off axis or offset parabolic reflector feed the diagrams for all the feed systems are drawn now I'm going to explain these one by one mentioning their advantages their features and their disadvantages if they have any the focal feed system the first one is the simplest of the feed systems that parabolic reflector antenna has here in this system we simply place the radiating element at the focal point because 
it gels with the theory of a parabolic reflector antenna so well that placing the feed system at the focal point makes a whole lot of sense and it does the job pretty well but the efficiency of this system is 55 to 60 percent but advantage is easy to design the second type of feed system is cassie grain feed system now over here you'll find that two reflectors are being used one is the main parabolic reflector which is the parasitic element now this reflector will be responsible for this reflector will be responsible for manipulating the radiations which are further reflected by a hyperboloid convex reflector which is placed exactly <coughs> at the center of the feed at the center of the focal point I am sorry now please understand the main reflector is modified with with an active horn antenna now what we do here is we we make a horn antenna which carries the signal merged into the main parabolic reflector at the center now this horn antenna is going to send the radiations to our hyperboloid convex reflector and this hyperboloid convex reflector will further diverge those waves to the bigger parabol bigger parabolic reflector and finally they form a planar wavefront which is highly directional and uh, in the form of planar wavefronts and the third type of feed system is Gregorian parabolic reflector feed it is exactly similar to Cassegrain feed system here also the main parabolic reflector is modified it is modified in such a way that a horn antenna is connected at the center of the main parabolic dish which sends the signal which transmits the signal to a hyperboloid concave reflector so the difference is convex and concave reflector in the case of Cassegrain and Gregorian parabolic reflector feeds respectively and as you can see the path of the wave is like this I've drawn the paths of the two waves with different colors so that they are easily interpreted so they are easily comprehensible so this concave reflector further reflects the wave to the surface of the parabolic reflector thereby resulting in a planar wave front which is highly directional again now please notice the efficiency of these two feed systems the efficiency of Cassegrain feed system is 65 to 70 percent whereas Gregorian parabolic reflector feed has an efficiency of 70 percent that is attributed to higher higher reflection 
surface area utilization by the main parabolic reflector in case of hyperboloid concave reflector reflecting those waves to the main parabolic reflector and the last and the final type of feed system is off axis or offset parabolic reflector feed system here in this feed system we we do not place our active element at the focal point we place it at such a point so that it does not obstruct the it does not obstruct uh, the path of the reflected waves from the main parabolic reflector if you look at the other three systems the waves which are going directly at the center of the main parabola they are likely to be obstructed by the main antenna system so any wave which is being reflected from the center of the main parabolic reflector is likely to be obstructed by the feed system itself so that is why the feed is placed at an offset position which does not obstruct the planar wave fronts so here i've mentioned also that the beam is not affected by the structure and the structure involves the base or the boom stick on which the feed system or the active element is placed the active element is going to be responsible for sending those waves to the parabolic reflector in such a way that the entire wave front passes just above the structure itself so these are the four different types of parabolic reflector feed systems which are generally employed in any transmission systems uh in case of receivers parabolic reflectors are more or less uh similar and they are simpler and they generally use off axis or offset parabolic reflector feeds because because the size of the receiving antennas is much smaller then the transmitting antennas their complexity also becomes a lot simpler so we we'll, we have studied uh, all these reflector feed systems from the point of view of transmitting antennas and you are you're likely to see them on bigger bigger systems like television systems or radio systems which employs satellite communication and i hope this uh, tutorial was of great help and if you found this tutorial helpful then please subscribe to this channel for more such videos that highly encourages me and thank you so much for watching this video again have a good day and a good life bye